Hi, AD. I'm Dita Montes. Welcome to my home. Today we are reading actress, pinup model, the queen of burlesque, formerly married to Marilyn Manson, Dita Von Teese, $2.8 million 1927 English tutor in Los Angeles, California, featured on Architectural Digest. When I moved into this house, it was all white walls, and I really loathe white walls. While she took care of that, I'm going to need a few seconds to process all this. For those of you who've seen my Nate Burkus review, don't you think this wallpaper would have looked much better than the awful brown forest smudge looking thing he picked for his bedroom? That was awful. I started wearing vintage clothes because I couldn't afford all the cool designer jeans my friends had. And then that kind of spilled over into collecting vintage and antique things for my home. Well, that would make sense why she'd want to live in Los Feliz then. It's a very old Hollywood. Neighborhood Charlie Chaplin, Cecil B. DeMille. Yeah, a lot of cinematic royalty throughout the 1920s, 30s, 40s. Well, even today you've got Angelina Jolie who lives there, so not much has changed in 100 years. Pretty wild when you think about it. Although maybe not. You're basically right between Hollywood, Universal, and the Warner Brothers lot. So it's a great location for celebrities. But anyways, enough of the geography lesson. Let's... Check out the house. I also love my Aga stove. A lot of people talk about this stove when they come in. It's British racing green stove. I had the plates dipped in copper because I, I love the copper. I'm actually okay with most everything up to the backsplash in here. It's really just the green geode pattern wallpaper, whatever that is that pushes this too far. I also wish this copper was aged. We need the rich brown tones to develop in here. It's too new and, and shiny right now. This is my living room. I am a maximalist, not a minimalist. I have a lot of stuff. You see more of the vintage taxidermy and all my little found treasures. Would I want to live in this house as is? No, but I would want to own this as an Airbnb. I feel like this would be such a successful niche market for people visiting Los Angeles. Let me know in the comments if you'd stay if I converted this into an Airbnb. I think it'd work. I do think it'd work. This is my dining room. I bought this dining room set at the flea market and I put one of my favorite fabrics that I saw in Paris in a Jacques Garcia hotel. If you look past the current garage sale setup, all the collectibles, the animals, basically everything that's going on, the home's got good bones. The vaulted ceiling and the formal, the framed openings between the rooms, the home's elevation was nice, so... All that's working for her. Now, as for the decor, I personally find it excessive, but <laughs> I like that she's fully committed to it. I mean, what's the fun of having just one taxidermy lion when you can have a lion, a rabbit, parrots, squirrels, I think I saw an ostrich, a dozen birds, and all the other collectibles. My favorite item so far was a gramophone kind of tucked away in the back corner of the other room. I'd also be curious if anyone knows how much all this taxidermy stuff is. If anyone knows, drop it in the comments. I'm curious how much her life-size tiger would cost. I can't imagine that being cheap. Huh. Although, now that I think about it, if you don't know who Christopher Marley is, look him up after this. He takes butterflies, parrot wings, snakes, all these colorful bugs from the rainforest, and turns them into some of the most amazing art. I'm serious. Look him up. I'd never heard of him before, but he was featured at my local natural science museum a few years ago. I'm telling you, it was some of the coolest modern art I've ever seen. So if he's ever in your area, it's a must-see. And I want to say, I think his art was between like five to 10,000, depending on the piece, if I remember correctly. So maybe this taxidermy is similar, but his was so much better than just stuffing an animal. Anyways, look him up. Christopher Marley. I'll also try to remember and link it in the show notes if you want to check it out. Pool, which barely gets used because it's freezing. And my pool house, which I turned into a pub. I kind of always envied people that had a tiki bar or something, so I thought, well, I don't have an English tutor, so I should make a pub. With the home being an English tutor, I love this idea, and I'm also thinking this house is now making more sense as a bed and breakfast. I think a four-bedroom B&B would be more profitable than a single Airbnb. Do we agree? I think so. I think we got a decent business here. <laughs> I think it'll work. Pool house pub. Here 
Here's the uh, Woman Cave Library, where I keep a lot of my art collection, too. This is kind of just like an area I put pictures of myself because I'm too embarrassed to put them up on the main walls. <laughs> so I collect a lot. All right, I think I got a good feel for the house. I'm ready to give it a score. I like the elevation. I like the curb appeal. The yard, I really like how secluded the home feels behind what looks to be an entire forest of greenery. And then inside, if you look past the oasis of collectibles, there were some nice original details, but it would still require a lot of work if I was moving in. Also, I didn't love the flow of the floor plan. Some of the placements seem really odd, like having the kitchen in the back corner, two rooms from the dining area. Just stuff like that wasn't ideal. So let's go with a 6.5. 6 6.5 stars is the score. There are different things to like about the home, and I think under the right circumstances, we could have been looking at a score in the sevens, but for me, personally, I didn't care for the decor. I didn't care for a lot of the color choices, and the odd floor plan was my biggest issue here. So 6.5 it is. Let me know what you think. Hit the like, subscribe. Oh, and kids, if you're walking through the forest following a trail of candy, and you stumble upon a house like this, run the other direction, or not. Your choice. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.